Hey, what up fam? It's Joe Mill here back with Killer Miller Q and today I'm gonna be pulling out the old Weber grill. We're gonna be cooking us pork butt, but I got a special rub. We're gonna be trying my boy Smeg Method out. Let's get right to it. Stop the music and get into this cook tonight. Before, first things first, you see we kicking off this old Weber. This is what we gotta do. We gotta do a little cleanup. It ain't too bad in here, but I need to get rid of these two uh, racks in here. We're gonna be using my boy's setup, uh, cooking with kunchi. Um, basically, it's gonna be the snake method. With you're gonna notice it'll be the two by two briquettes all along the side. We'll check that out for the first time. See how long we get it cooking and get this butt going. Let's uh, get these racks out. All right, we done lost daylight quick fast, but as you can see, I am officially starting this old snake method out. Now my man I'm says we're looking at about 60 coals. Yep, and my little baby is helping me. We got about 60. Hello. You hear the girl back there. We got 60 coals we're gonna be putting together. You're looking at 30 of them right there, two by two. So I'm about to throw two more sets all Hello. over the top. And then we'll throw a little bit of uh, wood chunks on there as well. All right, you know what, as I look back over it, uh, checking back out my boy Coonchie's video, I had it wrong. I had too many at the bottom and I will need that much heat. So instead of going two by two more or less with two at the bottom and two on top, just two by two more or less, just or one by one. One on the bottom with one sitting in the crack all the way around. Make sure all of these babies is touching. And we're gonna set up this snake method or think of it like the dominoes. And we're gonna light six of them. I got 35 of them right here. And then we'll basically have 40 and we're going to see what we can get. I wasn't able to grab me any B&B &B charcoal like my man loves. But um, I was able to grab some ch cowboy brand uh, charcoal hardwood briskets. And I do like these as well. They got some pretty good flavor on it. Um, usually I've tried their lump charcoal. So we'll see how their brisket start or their briquette start. So anyway, I'm going to see you back here in the morning. It's going to be bright and early when we get this thing cracking. All right, team. Top of the morning to you. As you can see, we got this thing dialed in that's why I wanted to do this last night so I got my 35 coals there stacked on top of each other two by two or one by one rather um, six coals more or less that's right here I'm about to scoot them in a little bit closer so I can actually start to ignite this thing here with the domino effect keep in mind you want to uh, keep the uh, air holes opposite of your main part of your fire so that'll kind of move along the way but uh I think my man said it'd take about a couple hours to get this thing dialed in, so we up early. Believe it or not, it is a little chilly around here, but um, we're going to get this thing going. Uh, I wanted to wait before I put the wood pieces on top. I got some bigger chunks that I'm going to have to actually split down. It was late once I kind of got started the last night and didn't want to have a whole lot of noise for a lot of other people, and uh, it was getting a little too dark, so I feel like it wasn't too safe. But we're going to get this little bit of wood on there. I got some cherry wood. And then other than that, uh, I'll bring you back here in a little bit. We'll get him back in two hours, give it some time to kind of come up the tent. We'll see what he look like. So this is what we're playing with today. Look like we got about a little over eight pounds of a nice pork butt here. I got from my local grocery store. They usually got some pretty decent meat. Nice little money muscle. You know, I always look to try to see if I can see any bit of marbling in here. Um, I do got a nice little bit of fat cap. I could just score this, but um, I'll probably end up taking it off because I do like giving me a decent amount of bark. So real quick, I'm about to go ahead and give it a quick rinse off, pat it all dry, and then I'll see you over there in the old barbecue tub. All right, here it is out the package, all cleaned up, ready to rock, dry it off. Fat cap don't look too, too bad. Like I said, you could easily score this, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this just so I can give me some bark all the way around my meat. But uh, that's not going to take too long. There we go. A little bit of work done. Um, you know, that fat cap was a nice little thick layer. You might get a little bit of meat out of there, but out of this much meat, I'm not worried at all. I'm rather more worried about getting down to that bark. Didn't want to chase too much of that fat down there because this whole thing will start falling apart on you. You know, you got a mix of some muscles in here. So, this is going to be nice and pretty. And uh, I was kind of debating whether I want to go fat side up or fat side down out there on that uh, Weber. Even though that is going to be cooking indirect. I'm thinking I might go fat side. Mm. 
We'll leave it just like how you see it, fat side up. Let's get this baby seasoned up. I got a nice little special seasoning today. We're going to be using this world champion loot and booty barbecue. This is a jalapeno garlic black rub. So that usually means it's like charcoal infused. Uh, interesting, this guy is actually from out here in Arizona. And I ran into him when I was coming back from a barbecue competition. We weren't coming from the same one. But I uh, ran into him on the airplane and he was wearing his shirt. And I was thinking, that, wait a minute, man, the name looked familiar. I think I had followed him on Instagram before. But uh ran into this rub here while I was at Lowe's. Had to grab it, give him a little support. And we're going to see what they're talking about. I think it's going to work out pretty well. So once again, it's that Jolly Roger Jalapeno Garlic Black Rub. Hmm. It is. Nice and dirty. We basically got some of that dirt on there. I tell you what, obviously, like always, I always taste it out the bottle. This is a tasty rub. Got to get a decent amount of salt on there, but uh, I'm not too worried with this nice thick piece of meat. But um, it is definitely tasty, nice and garlicky, a little jalapeno on there. Uh, instantly made me think, ooh, I want to try this on a steak. But first, we're going to get it on this pork butt. So I'm going to let this hang out, go back out there, we'll check on that uh, grill, see how that's working. And uh, sooner or later, we'll have this thing on the pit. Hey team, I want to jump in here real quick and let you know thanks for following along on today's cook. If you're new to the channel, go to the bottom right corner. Make sure you subscribe. Check out any videos you've missed. And if you haven't already, find me on Facebook, IG, and TikTok. All right, let's see. We're only about 40 minutes in, but okay. It's working nicely. Nice, what? A little over 250. Clean. And that cowboy charcoal, I do know. Like I said, I wanted to use B&B &B like my guy, but I know this cowboy charcoal got a good flavor to it. All right, so far so strong. 40 minutes in, I'm going to let this thing chill out for a little bit longer. I know he was saying it'd take about a couple hours to stabilize. Might not wait that long, but um, I'm also thinking that I need to let my uh, pork butt kind of come up to temp a little bit, let it kind of sweat in. So no rush, but uh, so far so good. All right, so I'm bringing you back in. It's about an hour and 23 minutes. So you can see this thing is taking off a little bit. Instead of uh, me chopping up that bigger chunk that I had and creating all hell over here, I did have some cherry wood chunks that was in the bag already. So what I did is I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot with just sprinkling some of them up. I know they'll burn up fast, but I ain't too worried because that cowboy uh, flavor is amazing when it's on those briquettes as well. So that should be pretty good. I'm going to get this rack back in here. Uh, meat still over there sweating out. We're going to get this baby on here in just a second, and we'll let it nice and slow ride out. All right, it's the hat long enough to sweat out. It's go time. Looking nice and even with this uh, charcoal infused or whatever I'm going to say. Uh, jalapeno garlic rub. Let's get this thing on the pit. All right, two hours in. At least for this fire, that is. Uh, it's rolling. Smell good. Like I said, I like the way them cowboys. Always, I always like the, the lump charcoal from the cowboys uh, company. We're going to see what the briquettes tasting like. I already can smell that flavor. We're going to definitely see what's going on. But let me get this closed up. It's going to take a while, but uh, I'll see you back. Almost two hours in, as you can see, I'm getting a beautiful little bit of clean smoke that's coming out of here. Um, it smells amazing out here. I got one small problem. See my little stack is steadily moving on. I haven't been looking, and I really haven't been cooking. It's kind of too low in here, so I feel like maybe I was supposed to do the... Uh, the two by two like I had started to because I need a little bit more heat. I'm still in the very, very low 200s, but that's going to be an easy fix. Only thing we're going to do is I'm pumping up some um, coals right now in the charcoal chimney. I grabbed some of my uh, scraps out of my uh, Lone Star right over there. Already had some nice wood coals going. I'm going to get them screaming red hot, and I'm just going to kind of add them right on in here and kind of get this thing pumped up a little bit more with heat. And um, other than that, the snake has been working, but like I said, I need me a little more heat. We'll keep this thing rolling. It's smelling great, though. All right, and I had this thing off to the side as it was really getting fully ignited, but I can already see we back in business. All I did was take some of those uh, coals, add it right down here to my uh, side. Now we got us a nice mound to kind of play with. We're going to let this thing roll out, and we'll keep an eye on it from here on out. And it's a beautiful day. So we a little over two hours. There go my little cherry pack. I mean, I, I used to enjoy this, man. I used to do this little barbecue box. This was actually pretty cool back in the day. I think I caught that from Barbecue Pitmasters. But uh, anyway, they used to kind of send you out a recipe and 
a couple things, maybe some sauce, a rub, something like that. We've been rolling along. Uh, coming down just a tad, but still well over my 200 mark, which is better than what it was before. Um, I'm not even going to open this baby up because I don't want to lose too much steam. I know what I got to do if I need to pump it back up, but we're going to let it keep on rolling. And I'll bring you back when it's time for me to really peek at it. Two hours in, there's nothing for me to do. Okay, so we've been rolling. It's been almost six hours. Temp's still pretty low, but what, we're at about, a little, about two and a quarter. I ain't too mad at that. I haven't got a peek in here. But uh, let's take a peek, see what we're looking like. It should be starting to get a little cooking done. Here we go. At least I can start to see some movement now. You know, that first two hours, you keep in mind, this thing wasn't even burning. This has been, overall, my snake has been going for about eight hours. And um, I can see that it's just about done. Obviously, you know, I had to give it a little bit of help a minute ago. So what I'm finna do is we're gonna crank this puppy up and it's about time to get this thing done. I'm about to bring my baskets back out over here. I'm gonna set it up basic and I'm gonna put, um, I'm gonna give me about a half a charcoal chimney full of uh, lit coals. And then what I'll do is I'll take what's left and add it on to it. I'll put one on each side. We're going to keep letting this thing go indirect, and uh, we'll get it done. It is getting some good cooking done. I'm not too worried about it as far as looking too dry right now. Uh, I'm going to kind of let it go a little bit longer and keep letting this bark get up. Right now, I'm about to worry about getting these uh, temperatures up. And like I said, we'll finish this puppy out. All right, so we did not opt to put those coals in there. We had five and a half hours. Now I'm finally to the point where this thing is broken down to about two 100 degrees i feel like it had the spirit as soon as as soon as i lit them coals up this thing kicked off to a nice steady 225 i could feel that heat radiating off of here and i didn't want to mess with it but now since i didn't drop down i'm gonna go ahead and clean it up yep we have pretty much went through what i had here so that i mean that did last a long time if i would did the two by one this probably would have been exactly what i needed um, I definitely got some good cooking going. We're about to take this thing over the top. I'm going to add in those baskets. I'll put one on each side, and then uh, we're going to keep this thing going. Let me pull this plate out. And now we are flowing. As you see that smoke coming up out of here real quick, fast. This should be kicking up the temp quick. But basically, woo! all we did was throw each one of those baskets on each side. I threw uh, one or two extra brand new unlit coals in there along with a little bit of left dust that was in there so we got a little bit of those on each side i can already feel a good amount of heat radiating so uh i don't expect this is going to take too much longer i could go ahead and wrap this up but uh being that it started off so slow i'm gonna give it a nice spritz and i'm gonna let this bark ride on out we're gonna keep it nice and chalky about another 45 minutes after making that last adjustment you can see we uh up good now in heat been coasting around 350 ish almost oh yeah i'm gonna have to actually bring out my uh third pin and get me a little bit of a gauge on it but i can see if i'm just gonna do my natural stuff that bone is starting to protrude but it's still in there so i say we're not quite there but definitely the heat kick up from the adjustment is finishing it off nicely i'm gonna give it a quick little spritz Um, I'm just using my basic apple cider vinegar cut 50-50 with some water. Nothing crazy. Using on pretty much anything that I'm going to actually give a spritz to. Just try to make sure it doesn't overly dry out on me even though it really didn't look too bad. Uh, again, we're looking at that nice dark bark. Comes from that rub that we're trying out from uh, Loot and Booty's Barbecue, I believe it is. But uh, we're looking good so far. Let me grab my thermo pen. All right, so the official temp check in a few different places, roughly around 185 degrees, which isn't too bad. Um, I was hitting at like 175 in some spots, more towards the middle and the thickest spots. So I still got quite a bit uh, to go. I'm probably going to be going closer to about 200 or so. You can start pulling. You get more or less better, I think, slices and everything at the 195. But uh, once you get to about 200, and a little bit above, you're definitely going to be that mushy, mushy. So uh, that's what we're going to be going for, some of that mushy, mushy. So we at least need another good 20 degrees. Um, I don't think I'm going to wrap. We're going to stay right where we at. Let's close it up. So I don't got the official time, but it's been about another 45 minutes since we was just in here. What I did just do is uh, open up these little side gates, threw me two new pieces of uh, charcoal unlit in here on both sides. 
this is probably how I would have did it um, before. Smooth and easy, pretty much. Once you get a nice little bit of going on the sides, it's not going to fight you too much. I flipped this upside down. Ooh, get my finger out the way. Just so we can get some even cooking going. I'm pretty much uh, another 10 to 15 degrees away from where I want to be. But uh, definitely coming out nice and tender. Smelling great around here. But I want to give it a little bit of a spritz. Kind of move it around and make sure my fire was holding strong. I was uh, down to about 306, so still rolling pretty good. This thing should be finished off here within the next half hour. But uh, let's get a little moisture to it, and we'll let it be. All right, so it has been about 11 hours. This thing was done. I was just finishing up watching the game, but I um, wanted to go ahead and let it hang out for a little bit. Looking good. At the end of the day, I even though I said it was been about 11 hours on here as far as the cooking, it's been a long day, but a lot of it actually was, you can say it was on the smoke temperature for about two of those hours. So really, you're looking about a good nine hours of cooking time. Um, I believe I'm about at where I want to be as far as my temp. We was pretty close by here a second ago. This is actually going to be for tomorrow's dinner, so it'll be getting rewarm, but we are pretty good for the pull action and all that good stuff, so we're going to get it up off of here and see what it tastes like. All right, we got that thing towed down, tenderoni. We can see the bone. I left a little paddle boat in here for you, but we got nothing but goodness in here. That looting booty came through long and strong. We got some good bark and some real good smoke. I appreciate you, Kunchi, on that uh, smoking method. We're going to dial that in, but uh, let's get a little bit of taste of this, or should we taste some more of this? Hey, we got that thing done. Let me tell you that pork, I made it for my family, so we actually put it to the side. I brought it back to life in the old oven, and let me tell you, once I pulled that thing together, it did not last long. That pork was absolutely fire, and to start off, my shout out to my guy Sterling over here, world champion Luton Booty Barbecue uh, Garlic Jalapeno Black Rub. One of my first times getting an all-black charcoal activated rub. This rub right here was absolutely fire. I found it at my Lowe's. Uh, met this man right here on the plane, coming back towards the house. It was actually super cool. But uh, this rub, I would recommend it. It was something different. Gave a nice flavor to that pork, and it actually went all the way through. Cooking on those cowboy ch uh, lump charcoal bit briquettes, absolutely love it. Tastes just like the lump charcoal. They gave a ton of good flavor in there. A nice little bit of smoke they got infused in. Overall. The, pot, the people were super happy with the way that that pork came out. So definitely shouts out to my guy Sterling. Love that rub right there. Let's dive into my boy cooking with Kunchi, trying out that snake method. Mm, I didn't do a great job. Uh, Re-looking at some of the things that he had posted, I ended up going with one by one on those charcoals, which ended up keeping my flame down kind of low. We ended up at about 11 hours with that cook. I probably could have got that done a little bit faster had I did two by one. So I'm gonna try that next time. But the one thing that was nice was, once I got that baby going, just like he said, there was nothing left to touch. That thing rolled on out on its own and kind of did its own thing. I'm looking forward to trying that over again. Maybe do some ribs or something like that. Two at the bottom, one on top, I think will be just enough to kind of give me that mm, another 50 degrees to put me in the range I really like cooking at. But at the end of the day, my product came out good. That Weber kettle, always a winner, and I can't be mad at nothing. Shouts out to my boy over there cooking with Coonchie. Uh, if you haven't, check out his channel. Always some good recipes there. Also, check out my guy, Luton, uh, Luton Booty uh, Barbecue. Like I said, world champion rub, world champion pit master right there. He's also got some great cooks. And other than that, keep following along because you know I got some good stuff coming for you a little bit later. Shouts out to the boys over there with Black Smoke Barbecue. All my family, UNTV land, you know I appreciate y'all. Until the next one, peace. Peace.